Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Naval Ops Commander on the second playthrough. Last time, we did, I think, three missions, actually, because we had a lot of time. So today, I got some comments uh, about trying to design a, the Lexington-class battle cruiser, since we did the Lexington-class aircraft carrier. And so I've taken the time to do that off-camera, because that can take a while, and I figured we would just cut to the chase. So, here we go. We're using battleship hole number three, as you can see down here, and the reason for that is because this is the only low-level battleship hull in this game that doesn't have the stereotypical American Dreadnought era battleship tiered kind of bow, so like where it goes uh, straight and then curves in, and then straight and then curves in, and then straight and then curves in. If you know what Dreadnought era American battleships look like on the bow, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Think Arizona, think... Uh, well, I know I just lost some, but you know what I mean. Like the, the typical battleship design that you always see where the bow like goes straight for a little bit and curves in towards the center, then goes straight and curves in towards the center and, and so on. That This is the lowest tier battleship hull in the game that doesn't do that. The reason I had to go with a battleship hull is because we have 16-inch uh, 50 caliber guns on here, as I believe were pretty much the same guns that ended up being fitted to the Colorado-class battleships. Um, since this never came to fruition. Now, because this never actually was built, it's hard to know exactly how it all would have worked. So let me run you through what we got here. We do have these 16-inch 50 caliber uh, guns here, eight of them, uh, four turrets with two guns each. We have a birdcage-style mast here, so battleship forward type one. I've got these smokestacks simply because they look the most correct. Um, the other one's didn't quite look right. So we have these, and then we have the birdcage style aft bridge, of course, two more of these 16-inch uh, uh, turrets. Now these here, I know these look weird. These are 6-inch guns. Uh, 53 caliber is what they would have been, but round that up you get 55, and obviously we can't have 53 caliber in here. Also, we can't like have barbettes. These would have been in barbettes and casemates and stuff all along the side um, amidships you know on uh, seven on either side so what I've done here is I've gone two four six and seven on each side so when I pull up oops whoops that's not what I meant to do I did forget to put systems on anyways when I pull up the weapon list here you see I have two of these one of these is the double barrel and the other is the single barrel and this is kind of just to simulate the barbette uh, on the sides and I cannot put these here in the middle because of the boilers. Speaking of the boilers, we have 16 boilers and four turbines, um, as would have been according to the design. It was supposed to go about 33 knots. We, I have uh, the correct armor here, um, which I'll show in a second, and also I have the lowest level boilers and turbines we can possibly get, and we're still going a little bit faster than the original ship would have gone. As far as I know, no machine guns were planned to be fitted to it, though I'm sure if the ship was actually built and survived the attack on Pearl Harbor, they probably would have stuck some machine guns on it after that. I know they did that for a lot of our battleships that did survive, and a lot of our other cruisers and stuff that did survive. They slapped machine guns and other, uh, you know, low-caliber AA cannons all over our ships because they didn't want that to happen again. So... If the ship had been built and if it had survived Pearl Harbor, I'm sure they would have strapped a lot of 30 uh, odd 6 caliber machine guns as well as some 50 cals on there as well. So I've kind of just used a little creative liberty to place those on there like so. Um, but yes, yeah, so the armor. The armor around the belt would have been an average of about 15 centimeters. And as low as like 120 millimeters to as big as about 179, 180 millimeters. The deck armor wouldn't have been much more than 58, but we can't go that low in this game, so we're just going to go with 10 centimeters. Um, let's see. I didn't see anything about catapult, uh, catapult launched aircraft, so I didn't put that on there because, well, we don't know. It might have had catapult launched aircraft. It might not have. There's no way to really tell, but I do need to at least have sonar and radar on here for the purposes of the game to launch it. Uh, or to complete it. Searchlights, again, there was no official mention of searchlights. Then again, there never really is, so I suppose we can, again, use a little bit of creative liberty here and just kind of slap these on like this, just so that we have them. Engines, I showed off. Armament, I showed off. So, there we go. The Lexington-class battlecruiser-ish. You know, about as close as we can really expect to get in a game like this. Now, let's take it out to the dock and see what it looks like because I think it'll look pretty cool. 
I did use that app, uh, that phone game, to uh, to kind of get an idea of where things should be placed, but outside of that, the game doesn't actually have a lot of detail. So, other than just, like, the spacing of everything that's in the center line, that's about all it was really useful for. Um, but, yeah, there we go. I think it looks pretty cool. And uh, if we weren't in, like, the second to last sector of the game, I might actually try to use this, because it might actually be viable. At the point of the game we're at now, though, I mean, hell, even our carrier struggled with uh, the last mission we used it in. And our carrier is the strongest normal carrier you can have, with a lot of really good stuff on it. So this thing has no chance. <laughs> um, but there it is, at least. We get to see what it looks like in all of its glory. So there is a pretty somewhat close rendition of the Lexington-class battlecruiser, as it would have been built... Um, you know, in 1922 and on, if it had been built and if it had survived through, uh, or up to at least up to Pearl Harbor. So, there we go. Now, next on the docket, we did get a cool weapon known as the Grian Laser last time. So, what I want to do is put that on one of our ships here. I don't know which ship. Um... I kind of wanted to try it on the battle carrier here, but I don't know if we're going to be able to? I don't know how big this thing is. Um, let's see, wave gun, I kind of like, I feel okay getting rid of it, at least for now, because we're not really using it. It's kind of a last ditch effort, like, oh crap, I'm about to die, kind of thing. But I don't know if this will even fit. Uh, no. I don't think it would even, eh, I don't think it would even fit down there. I don't think there's a possible way to get these on this X battle carrier, unfortunately. So we will actually just abort design here. There we go. Um, I've heard the reason I want to pick a specific ship for this is also because of the Special Warhead Missile VLS-2, which can only go on certain hulls. So I was hoping we could put it on the X Battle Carrier, but I guess the Grian laser is not going to fit. Obviously the Special Warhead Missile VLS-2 would have, but we want to have both so we can test them both in one battle. So let's try the Hammerhead, I suppose, and let's see what we can do with with this. Again, we'll probably remove the wave gun because we're not really using it. It's it's very much a uh, last ditch effort. Um, you know, everything is going horribly, horribly wrong and we need something to do quickly. So we will get rid of that. We'll also get rid of... Where is the... Hang on a second. Didn't I have uh, something else I wanted to get rid of here? Hmm, maybe not. Well, we'll leave that for now and see if I have room for uh, the... Grian laser here. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. If I if I got rid of some of those machine guns on the side, we could definitely do it. Here, maybe we can do it now. So we go to optical weapons. We go to the where was it? I'm, bl I'm blind. There we go. Grian laser. Eh, eh, there we go. So we have that. Now apparently, what makes this one special is it's one of the shield piercing lasers, and also happens to be the strongest shield piercing laser which I'm looking forward to. So we have that now. Um, let's see, rapid fire... We have guided plasma guns, so I don't feel like these serve much of a purpose. Uh, no, we'll get rid of them. Because we need another weapon slot if we're going to try out this guy, which can indeed go on the drill ship. Wow, that goes way down into the hull. Holy crap. Is that even going to be, like, placeable anywhere? Um... Huh, interesting. Am I going to have to do something like this? Ah, that wasn't a huge speed loss. Let's see if that actually even allows us to place the thing, though. Ah, yes it does. Good. Alright. Well, we had to lose some speed to do it, but not by much, so not a big deal. We have that now. Uh, how much ammo does that have, just out of curiosity here? It, uh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Only one. That's, I'm not surprised. Alright, so we have a Grian laser to test out. We have uh, that Special Warhead Missile VLS-2 to try out as well. Let's put our CIWS back on here that we had to get rid of. Um, just so that we still have, you know, a decent chunk of AA firepower. Or, well, not so much AA, but uh, more anti-missile. That's, that's all the ones I got rid of. I only got rid of three pairs. So there we go! Hammerhead, ready to go with the new weapons. And we are going to see what this uh, very f next mission has for us in store. Or has in store for us, I should say. 
So let's see what we got. Briefing time. Let's see. Uh, prevent the escape of all enemy ships. Uh huh. Okay. Currently, our forces are re-outfitting for the final stage of Operation Crime and Punishment. Wait, already? Didn't? Wasn't the last mission the first stage? Or was two missions ago the first stage? Still, this is a short operation. We still believe that the enemy is unaware of our true goal. However, enemy fleets in the nearby areas have been showing increased activity. Your ship is to investigate this activity. If it appears to be a counterattack, you are to stop it. Our forces need just a little more time to finish preparations. If we're stopped now, all our past struggles will have been in vain. First, we must keep a watch on the enemy harbor facility and keep all enemy ships from leaving the area. There are two possible exits from this area. Uh, three facilities I was worried about that. I was afraid of them being able to escape through that channel to the east there. If we can gain control of the island blocking the south exit, as long as we keep a good watch, we should be able to blockade the enemy. Hmm. Hmm. Well, what I'm going to do right now before I forget is I'm going to shut this guy to off and go manual on this just because it'll be the first one that I spawn in selected anyways. So, there we go. Hammerhead. Um, I did get that one thing. What was it? Uh, heavy battleship. I had something that I wanted to replace with the heavy battleship, didn't I? Guided anti-wave battleship. Plasma battleship. I guess we'll we'll take it. I mean, what's oops? What's uh what's it have? Hang on, let's go to the escorts menu and check what that actually has for weapons. Because I don't know if it's just a support ship that does like one job and one job only, or if it actually has weapons. I'm I'm really not sure. So let's go take a look at that before I forget. Here, escort ships. Uh, it'll probably be somewhere in the bottom. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Up, up, up. Guided anti-wave battleship. Okay. What do you do, sir? Okay, it has some weapons. Um. Yeah. I mean, it has it has some weapons. Funny enough, that almost looks like a Lexington class <laughs> battle cruiser. Almost. Yeah, pretty close. All right. Well, we'll take it, I guess. I don't know what it does, but it has weapons at least, so it's not like a. It's not like one of the fuel or ammo transports that has one job and one job only, so that's nice, I guess. I'll try it out, see what it looks like and stuff. All right, Hammerhead, new escorts. Yes, check. Okay, here we go. Deploy. Ready to do it. this. Ready to go here. Ah, nice. No black screen. I love when that happens. It is the best thing when I don't get a black screen. Do do do. Let's see what we got here. That looks interesting without the wave gun on the front of it. I'm so used to seeing it with the wave gun. Kind of looks like there's a hole in the <laughs> in the middle of the ship there, just like empty space. But there is indeed a very powerful laser that I would like to try. Okay, so a couple things. Um, there appears to be a group of support installations or ships over here. Oh, it's ships. Okay, well, I'm gonna go deal with them real quick here. Ah, look at all these guys. Ooh, I'm gonna fire that now and slow down and watch the fireworks. Hopefully. Where is this missile? I don't want to miss it. Where is this missile coming from? Oh, there it was. Okay, that's kind of disappointing though, that damage. I don't know. That was a disappointing amount of damage, if I'm being completely honest, but, oh yeah, well. It's alright, I guess. Like, if it couldn't even kill these laser cruisers, that that's not great. Yeah, that battleship is a railgun, so I'm gonna deal with him first, of course. He's the biggest threat to us right now. Do-do-do-do-do. Uh, okay, it's kind of hard to tell what's happening with that laser, but, um, yeah, I, I could see it firing. Let's see. It's quite a slow laser. 
all things considered. I need to go east. I need to go east really badly. I need to go east, like, right now. And let's see. This group of ships is going to be coming due south. So what I'm going to do, escorts, where you are right now, go into guard mode. And I'm going to keep going east and hopefully cut off any other enemy ships that are trying to run. Let me see if I can just pop backwards for one second here. And maybe get some shots on these guys. Mm, not quite, okay. Well, hopefully my escorts can slow them down. I doubt my escorts will kill them, but maybe they can slow them down at least. Oh yeah, they're going for it. They're going for the exit, and they have just about made it too. Oh my goodness, I can't be in two places at once. If this fails, next plan is to use the... Um, the carrier with uh, like a full-fledged just uh, fighter loadout it's like gonna be the only course of action that really is gonna work here keep moving keep moving oh I'm not gonna make it no I don't think I'm gonna make it I can't be in two places at once game. Uh oh. Yep. Not gonna make it. Nope. <laughs> Alright. Well, we got to see the special warhead uh, VLS-2 in action, and we got to see a little bit of the Gryan laser, Gryan laser, which we will return to, but for now I think we're gonna use the carrier with a all-fighter or mostly fighter loadout, just so that hopefully we can actually, you know, have a presence uh, uh, that reaches across the map rather than just, you know, wherever we happen to be located. Alright, here we go. So we got 20 F-63 Super Wasps and 5 I-100 Centurions, just so we have a little bit of AA coverage there uh, as well. So, now let's try this with the carrier with a very heavy fighter loadout and see if things go just a little bit better than they did that time. Okay, aircraft carrier, time to show us what you got. Make me proud. Aircraft away. Let's head east first, I think. In fact, you know what I'm going to do right off the bat? Set my escorts to guards so that hopefully nothing gets through there. We are going to head due northeast immediately to deal with these enemy ships. And boy, am I glad at this point that I have five stinking ele aircraft elevators on board my ship. Very nice. Enemy ship there we go. Hang on, what are the parts crates potentially in this mission? What mission are we even in here? I don't even know. Wait, I think we are in F7. Okay, parts crates are just gas turbine E or D. So, meh. Very meh. Uh, what do we got? Oh, these guys are right here. See, this is this is why they got so close to the thing last time. Because they were, like, right here next to it from the get-go. And thankfully, they don't hit too hard. Enemy still try to stay at arm's length here, so to speak. Oh, those are battleships, though. Those guys will probably hit considerably harder. They do have railguns that they're pounding me with right now. So we're going to pick up these uh, this ammo here and then come back around for another pass on them. Auto reload system gamma and optical intensifier go to work, baby. Oh, I got too far away. Hit him again. Going back in. There we go. All right. Time to get a move on back to the other side of the map there. Because my escorts are going to need that help very, very soon. Alright. Ooh, health crate. That's even that's even really nice because it's where I need to be going. There we go. Take that. And let's get the heck out of here. Get a move on, baby. Gotta go, gotta go. How are we doing on planes? Haven't lost any yet. I have seen some low health planes, but we haven't actually lost any yet. Very, very good things. Okay, hopefully my escorts 
Uh, not stopping them at all. I, I can't be everywhere at once here, game. Don't fail this again, please. Don't fail this again. Oh boy, really? Fleet ship sunk. That's not what I wanted to hear. I need to get down there. I need to get down there. Sink that battleship. Sink the carriers. Sink that thing. Sink the carrier. Oh boy, that was close. That must have been really close. Wait, where is the border? I think it's right here. I think they're like on the border at this point. So yes, that was very, very close. I'm surprised that didn't actually, they didn't get through. But uh, I'm not going to complain. Okay, what else we got? These guys here, he's there, and he's there. I think the north slash northeast end is clear at this point. Pretty sure. There we go. Alright, nice. Yay, I think we did it. Alright, good. Holy cow. That was very close. And we got engine damage right at the end there. But you know what? Not even worried about it. Not even mad. Parts crates and stuff. Oh, se objective succeeded. Okay. Well, parts crates were pretty meh. Message from mission command. Preparations complete. Entering final stage. We are instructed to rendezvous with the main fleet. Let's pull out now. We'll have to watch out for pursuit. We shouldn't be far from the allied fleet. <laughs> Even the rank rewards are pretty meh. I mean, Atomic Engine, Gamma, and Delta, which are pretty okay, I guess. But, you know, nothing that you really need, per se. And we got a B anyway, so... That'd be a hard, hard mission. In fact, I'd think almost impossible mission to get an S rank on. I don't know how you'd even go about doing that. But there's our rewards, uh, nonetheless... Hmm, well, let's see. Let's see what the next mission says for us here. Destroy the super ship. Ah, I think I know which super ship this might be, maybe. Reports of interference in the Arctic region. You are ordered to investigate that region and, if necessary, to eliminate the source of the noise. Caution, we have also had reports of an interference source in that area. Enemy HQ is also reported to be in that area. Our scout division is currently investigating, looking for any data, including something on the super ship during a scat. We still do not have much information on this super ship. However, we know they have had this ship since they began this war. It is sure to be a key in understanding what is going on. During a scat? Just what is that? The waters to the north are full of icebergs. We must be careful. They could do great damage to our ship. Hmm. Yes, I'm quite sure I remember what boss this is. Well, let's take not the battle carrier. No, no, no. Sorry. Sorry, not the battle carrier. We want the hammerhead again. We want to give this uh, this here, uh, what's her majigit, another try. The uh, special warhead missile VLS-2 and the Grian laser as well. Give them another, another chance. Hey, a third time in a row, no black screen. So far, this entire episode is still one clip, and I love that. I really like when that just works like it's supposed to. It's great! Okay. Let's see here. Now, I kind of forgot to check before. What does that one battleship look like? Oh, stop moving, stop moving. Why are you going so fast? Oh my god! I told you to stop! You should all be stopped. Holy cow. That, uh, that's not actually the one. Wait, where's the one? That, uh, no, that's the Bismarck. That's, that's the, oh, that's the one. That's the guided anti-wave battleship. Oh, it's in North Carolina. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Full speed ahead. Oh, let's deal with these icebergs here. They do count as enemies, so if you want your S rank, you gotta sink them. S rank is gravity field alpha. Pretty good. A rank is uh, EM shield alpha, also pretty good. Um, so yeah, nice, nice stuff. 
Then deal with these icebergs here, like so. They take a while to actually sink and be counted as, you know, destroyed. As you can see on the radar, they still show up on the, where I'm sitting right now, but they're below the water at this point. Oh, there they go. Now they start to disappear off the, uh, off of the mini-map. I am probably going to end up wishing that I had my wave gun in this, but you know what? It'll be alright. I need to wean myself off of the power that is the wave gun. Which, to be honest, I've done pretty much already. I, I haven't actually used the wave gun in a while. Did I technically destroy them? Yes. They have bigger hitboxes than you think. And as you can see there, I, I did run into those ones and they didn't actually hurt me, so... I don't know if maybe you gotta run into them harder and then it hurts you, or maybe it's because I'm in the drill ship and... I don't know, maybe the drill ship has a resistance to ramming damage. I don't even know. That wouldn't surprise me too much. It'd be pretty cool, actually, but I have no clue. I have a couple buildings here to deal with, which, of course, are not going to show up on my radar. Go figure. And, but they don't really need to as long as I can see them with my eyes. Alright, now if we look over here, there's some more icebergs out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, hello. Yeah, this is about this is who I thought it was going to be. Have a cook. Very cool history behind the actual the concept of this. We've talked about it a lot in like every previous iteration of the game where this thing exists, which is, you know, all of them, so I won't go into all of that again, but pretty cool. Pretty cool that they have this in here. Where are my tower rail guns? Here we go. Oh, I only have one and it faces backwards. That's right. Yeah, oh well. Still, even one tower railgun is quite good. Enemy ships up. Enemy ships up. Deal with these icebergs here, like so. And where is actual uh, Habakkuk himself? Oh, there he is. Hello. I have chain guns, good sir. You do not scare me. Yeah, even your even your green lasers that look scary don't actually scare me. He does have a lot of health, I will say that. You can see the Grian laser actually working over there as well. Obviously I'm going nuts with my chain guns. Uh, we got some Yamatos showing up now. Laser Yamatos. I might run out of chain gun ammo before we actually finish him off this rate. Uh, well, no, never mind. We're good. We got this. Oh, stop with the cat lasers. Oh, please. Oh, my ears can't take much more of that. <laughs> Whichever one of you jerks has the cat laser, make it stop. No, it's him. It's him. I can see it. Oh, of course. We're so close, too. There we go, we got him. Enemy ship sunk. There's a health crate behind me, which is very nice. I don't think I'm too badly damaged, though. Well, there's the Habakkuk. So you don't really need a wave gun to kill most of these bosses. But it is satisfying. Immensely, immensely satisfying. Ah, da, 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 da. There we go, there we go. This... Alrighty. Maintain cruising speed. I'm gonna go try to get that health crate back there and hope that it's more than a stupid 10%. It's next to useless. Also, I'm gonna watch my escort's health as I pick that up because I am curious still as to whether or not they get any healing benefit. Ah, oh, they do! I, I saw his health bar bump up a little bit there. So that's good to know. They get healed when I do as well. I was so focused on that I didn't actually notice the size of the health crate, but whatever it was, it wasn't that much, or it couldn't have been, because I'm still missing a decent chunk of health out of the deck armor, so... Must not have been a whole lot. Um, well, I suppose I'm gonna take the time to go around and try to destroy enough stuff to get an S-rank. Maybe we'll find, um, let's see, there's still those laser battleships that could provide, uh... Uh, could provide, uh, some health crates for me, so... 
I will go around and see what I can do towards getting an S rank, and I'll pick you guys up in just a second here. Alright, coming up to the epic showdown with these laser battleships here, let's see if they give us any health. Uh, and also how easy or hard they are to sink. So far, they don't seem too scary. Now we got an ammo restore, which is pretty nice actually, but uh, let's see, first two down. Not too scary. Third guy down here. I would love a health crate, though. There's a crate in there of some sort. Can't see what the heck it is. That's uh, parts crate. Okay. Um, I don't even remember what the parts crates could be in this mission. Let's see. Various types of ring lasers. So pretty meh. Oh, look, more engine damage, apparently. Hardly surprising at this point. Still annoying. Will never cease to be annoying. But has already ceased, in fact, long ago has ceased to be surprising. Oh look, there it is again. Are they using some special engine targeting lasers? I'm starting to think so. Hmm, it's a conspiracy. They found my weakness and they're finally exploiting it to the maximum effectiveness. Drop a health crate, please, one of you. I need the health if I'm gonna survive or if I'm gonna have enough health to get a S rank. <sighs> you know, on this amount of health, I can basically guarantee we're not going to get a health or the, the, the S rank. And there's nothing left to drop health crates for us as well. So, you know what? I'm going to call it there. I could probably grind for either of the rank rewards, but I don't feel like we need them to be honest. The enemy iceberg carrier has been sunk. You know. I wonder how many snow cones that would have made. Massive interference just ahead. Just what is up there waiting for us? Why are you thinking about snow cones at a time like this? We're in a war, dang it. We are like finishing up this war. We are we are on the cusp of victory. And you're thinking about making snow cones out of the enemy ships? She's lost it at this point. I think she's gone. Well, we got an A rank at least. So that's cool. Uh, which should give us, yeah, see these are pretty meh rewards. I really am not one for the ring lasers. I just don't like them. EM Shield A. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I think we've found some of those before, but I don't remember when or where, but I'm pretty sure we have. Um, I could, you know, try to get an S rank in my, in, you know, off camera and, and get the gravity field A. I don't feel like we need it, though. Uh, I, I really don't. So, I think that will do it for this episode of Naval Ops Commander on the second playthrough, so thank you very much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.